Billy, a, a really entertaining spectacle, and more importantly, another win. Yeah, uh, it was certainly entertaining, probably from a neutral's point of view, a little bit too open, certainly for, for, a, for my point of view and from a coaching perspective. But we had a lot of similar type of players playing today at the top end of the pitch, a lot of flair players, you might say, and um, you know, I, I did think that it was always going to be quite... Uh, well, we'd be quite open, and fortunately we only conceded one goal and managed to score goal, two goals, so pleasing from that point of view, but lots of things to work on um, from a uh, developmental point of view for some of our younger players, and obviously it was good to give um, three senior pros 90 minutes tonight. Talking of those three senior pros, how do you think they equipped themselves? All about application for those guys. Yeah, they, um, they, they, they did what was uh, required from them you know, to get through 90 minutes and... Um, to uh, to get out there and 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 you know prove that they can play 90 minutes and be ready if if required by the manager for the for the remaining two games. And one of them in Jerome Sinclair gets the first goal. Um, took it well, didn't he? In off yeah. the in off the woodwork. Yeah, Greg uh, Stewart did ever so well. Cut in and uh, hit a lovely shot, which is what he does. Cut in on his left hand side uh, on his on his left hand side and uh, uh, come back off the post. And then Jerome tucked it away nicely as well. So. Yeah, no, they both worked really hard and uh, good performances. And Hull City played their part in tonight's game and, and gave us a really good test. Yeah, I said to the boys at the start, they're, they're pushing to win the league, so um, uh, I think we've put paid to that tonight for them, unfortunately. But uh, they're always uh, a well-organised, hard-working team with a number of good individuals and uh, they proved that again tonight. And, uh, you know, they caused us certainly some, 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 some tough moments and... I think on another night without Conor Truman tonight, obviously, you know, we probably wouldn't have won that game. Mm. Uh, but everybody played their part and overall we, we got through, so that was really pleasing. Mm. Let's talk about Conor Truman's performance. There's two or three really good saves. Yeah. and Just when they did break through the back line, he was there as the last line of defence. Yeah, absolutely, and that's his job. But what he's done this year, he's had a fantastic year. Um, he's matured uh, physically and, and, and he's always been a, 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 a socially mature lad, a, a young head on. Um, sorry, an old head on young shoulders, similar to, to Jack Butland. I don't want to make those comparisons, but he's had a really, really good year and hopefully he can go away, have a good rest now in the summer and come back even stronger and really push for a first-team place next season. And another name that supporters are becoming familiar with is Wes McDonald, who yeah. again gets himself on the score sheet and bags the winner. Yeah, he's got a knack um, of, of scoring goals and I think he performed well again tonight. He, uh, he, he was uh, um, you know, a bright, lively uh, spark at times for us and cause them problems, which he does to, um, to to most of the under 23 teams he plays at the moment. So uh, still got to work a little bit harder on when and where to take a few touches and when to play quickly, one and two touch. But uh, again, he's had a good year, he's got better as the year's gone on and uh, hopefully he can keep that focus, keep his work right and, and go on again next year. Mm. Reese Brown in the side as well today in the middle of the park. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, Reese uh, Reese did okay. It's his first game for a long time. Um, so, you know, it was always going to be um, tough for him to really be probably at his best. Uh, but yeah, it was good to see him out there again and uh, he's trained well. So, um, no, pleasing to see him back out on the pitch. Well, day's recovery and then obviously end of the game this week, Nottingham Forest at West Hills. Yep, last one of the season for, for, the, for the lads and it'd be good to finish on a positive note. They've had a good sort of second half of the season, really good second half of the season and uh, there'll be no relenting from our side of it. Um, and it'd be good to test ourselves at Wast Hills on Friday and um, you know the lads know they've got to keep going all the way through.